Hey there, Kodandi here. And like, wow, I just had a really amazing experience. So here, you know, I'm living at Nithinandapitam, Bangaruru at Dinam. I'm staying with my guru, Paramahamsa Nithinanda. And because this is in Adinam, a temple monastery complex, we are living a religious life here. And there are rituals happening daily, multiple times a day. And there are particular rituals that happen on a regular basis. One of them happens every Sunday. It's called Shiva Diksha. And Shiva Diksha is this very important ritual where the guru, Paramahamsa Nithyananda Swamiji, formally accept, accepts people as his disciples and takes responsibility for their liberation. So that when people die, if they have not achieved enlightenment during life, he will be there and he will liberate them when they die. So, you know, when this ritual happens, they go up, he, he, they go up blindfolded. He gives um, a blessing on the head and then uh, the blindfold is removed and you go out, there's a homa, a fire ritual happening. And at the fire ritual, everyone takes a flower and offers it on this representation of the five faces of Shiva. Um, and depending on where your flower falls, you receive that name of whatever face of Shiva as your Shiva Diksha name. So, you know, the five faces of Shiva are Satyojata, Vamadeva, Tatpurusha, Ishana, and Agora. And they each have their own meanings. Satyojata is creation, Vamadeva is sustaining, Agora is rejuvenating, Tatpurusha is delusion, putting into a delusion, and Ishana is liberating. And so, they, they need someone to sit there and watch where people offer their flowers, which face it falls on, and give them a card that says which face and what name and say what it means. And so today, so exciting, uh, normally I'm participating in another part of the ritual where after that you offer flowers and you receive some, some gifts. Normally I'm you know doing the flowers and the gifts. But today I got to sit at the Homa and give people their name cards and be an important part of the ritual and an important part of people's initiation. I remember receiving my Shiva Diksha name. I received Vamadeva, the sustaining face of Shiva, and just being so excited and just, it just meant so much to me to be able to do this, to have this initiation and receive this name. And it was just so moving to be able to sit there and you know watch where people drop the flower which face did it fall on because it's it's a square this one square and each section of the square represents one of the faces so i have to be very watch very carefully which section does it fall on and hand them their name card and say you know the name and the meaning of the name and it's just it's such a powerful experience Shiva Diksha is my favorite day here. It's my favorite event because it happens every single Sunday. It's free, totally free, no obligation, no payment, no nothing. You just have to show up and do the ritual and people are getting liberated. People are getting liberated that they will not go into death and rebirth, that when they leave their body, they will go into eternal bliss. And, you know, people come from all over, all these, like, rural people from some small village out in the middle of Tamil Nadu save all their money to take the bus to come here to see Swamiji, do the Sunday program, and have Shiva Diksha, that this is so important for people. And it's so important for Swamiji to offer this for people. It's so, I mean, it's just powerful and generous that he can just just liberate people like that and that just this whole room you know a hundred people could show up and he's just liberates them all and i was at the back it just it, it was really i was in another i don't know i was in oneness i was in a different state because it goes really fast and people are just tossing their things sometimes it's kind of on the line or whatever and i have to just follow my third eye 
that what does the third eye say? Did it land on Ishana? Did it land on Sadyojata? Which one did it land on? You just use my third eye to pick the right card if it's not obvious to the two eyes. And just, you know, make sure they get the right name and just it's just wonderful. It's so wonderful. I just felt in so much oneness with Swamiji, with Shiva, with everyone. It was just such a beautiful experience. And just to see these people who, you know, I don't know where they come from, what they do, what their background is, if they're rich, poor, whatever, but anyone and everyone can come. Not only does he initiate and accept people, all types of people, all ages, children, elders, adults, disabled, anyone at all can come. He also will do this for all living beings. And so people will bring their pets. So there have been some dogs. Uh, people will bring their pet puppies. Some of the dogs on campus received Shiva Diksha. I've seen people bring pet puppies. One of the cats, the stray cat that runs around in here, had Shiva Diksha. Um, and then today there were four baby goats and a baby cow that they took up to receive Shiva Diksha. And then they came and, the, you know, the, the people that were handling the animals, you know, had the flower, put the flower on the animal's paw and tossed it. And each animal got a Shiva Diksha name, which was adorable. These tiny baby goats and this little baby cow. So sweet. It's just amazing, you know? And then sometime in the future, someone's going to go to the Akashic readings and be like, what was I in a past life? And they're like, you were the baby goat in the Goshala at, you know, Swamiji's Adina. <laughs> so, yeah, and people who bring their puppies, someone will go get a reading like, you were the puppy and you were the pet and, you know, so-and-so, this other person cared for you and the other person will go get it in the Akashic reading like, you took care of, you had a pet puppy, you took care of this person when they were a pet puppy in a past life. And, you know, like, when you bring your animals and receive Shiva Diksha and have Shiva Diksha for your pets, you'll both come back when Swamiji comes back again and you'll be reunited. And after death, you'll both go into eternal bliss. And it's just, it's just so wonderful, so sweet, so powerful. Yeah, so that is that. That is today. So exciting. Every Sunday, Kalpataru Yoga. If you come do it here at the Adinam in person, you will receive this initiation, Shiva Diksha. You will also receive Mantra Diksha, where you receive a mantra as well. Um, it's the Gayatri Mantra. You'll receive Gayatri Diksha. And um, there's a Shiva Mantra that you receive as well. If you cannot get here, you can still do this program online. You do not get Shiva Diksha, but you get a darshan from Swamiji. And you also get the benefits of the Kalpaturu program, which is a really powerful program to help you just manifest what you want in life, figure out what you want in life, and achieve it and make it happen. And you'll get Swamiji's blessing. So, yeah, please do this. If you want more information about this program and any other program happening in the Adina, look in the description. Click show more if you don't see it. And keep in touch. Leave a comment, send a message, connect with me on social media. All of those links are in the description. Okay, don't be a stranger. I am here for you.